home is where you feel comfortable, relaxed, yeah. where you yes. can rest, you can be quiet. Where you can be yourself and uh, it doesn't matter, you know, you don't have to respond to other people in the same way as you do when you're outside your home or in a work situation or whatever. So, yeah, it's a yeah, very, yeah, very right. personal yeah. place. We're looking at not just the physicality of home, not just the building, not just the furniture, but ideas of family, of what home means to different people. So it's about how homes are really the framework for our lives, happy and sad. This is the Bothy Gallery, and it was built in 1810, originally as a summer house for the family on the Breton estate. And then over time, it became the house for the head gardener of the estate, who lived here. And then we converted it into gallery in 2003, when we did a show of work by Barbara Hepworth for her centenary. The building lends itself really well to being a gallery space because of its proportions. And I love the fact that the different rooms connect so that you can get a glimpse of what's in the next room, and it's very enticing actually you feel quite safe and homely in here which is nice. The theme of this exhibition being at home was inspired by a few things really. Partly the fact that this building had been a home for so many years but also to reinforce the fact that the Arts Council collection has found yet another home here at YSP and it was really just kind of cementing that relationship with them. And then as I looked through the Arts Council collection, lots of works seemed to suggest themselves that had a domestic theme. So that's really where the selection grew from. It seemed really natural that Yorkshire Sculpture Park should become one of the partners to enable the collection to be seen across the park, here at the Bothy Gallery, perhaps out in the landscapes, or perhaps in the chapel, which will happen later this year. So we're really hoping to extend our relationship and to see the collection in more spaces. There are 43 works dating from 1930 to 2010. Each of them tells their own story. For example, the Anthony Davis painting Six O'Clock News from 1940 is the painting of a man seemingly sat on his sofa listening to the news. And we found out when we were researching that as well that the BBC had been bombed and that the newsreader had carried on reading as though nothing had happened even though it was covered in soot. And then there's a really lovely piece called Flat 23 by Paul Rooney. It's a film piece on three monitors with sound and it's a woman singing about the objects that used to be in her home and the flat's due for demolition, so it's a really poignant memory of a home. From the collection we've been able to borrow a Roy Lichtenstein who's one of the really important American pop artists and then other aspects like um, the young British artist like Damien Hirst who was born in Leeds obviously and there's a lovely little Yoko Ono all-white chess set from the 1960s and that's playing with the idea that if it's an all-white chess set there's no opponent so there's no point fighting them and it's all part of her peace activism. One of the works that I'm really drawn to in this exhibition is the drawing by Barbara Hepworth called Girls with Teacups from 1949. It is simply an exquisite drawing and one that gives an idea of home as a place of safety, of sanctuary, but also of discussion and ideas. And Hepworth was from Wakefield itself, so I think it's really pertinent for Hepworth to be represented in this exhibition. I think the works in the exhibition represent home in different ways. So there's a pair of glasses by Jonathan Monk that are his glasses, and that's referencing, for me anyway, how our objects become our identity, and particularly when people pass away, it's the things they leave behind which are the most poignant. The word home means um, the family, uh, people visiting, cooking, the furnishings, and things like that. People feeling comfortable in their own space, and they make it whatever way they want it, so they feel comfortable. Contentment. I think um, knowing where I should be, um, being home with my wife and my cat, um, fire on, maybe a beer. I think this selection is really fascinating because it shows such a broad picture. I think there's something here for everyone to enjoy, but also I think there's something here for everyone to think about, to interrogate what home is and to enable us to have a fresh perspective, bringing our own ideas and thoughts about home to the table. I'm hoping that people, when they visit this exhibition, will find a really special work of art that they've never seen before or that brings to mind maybe happy memories and that they can bring their families here and talk about their ideas of home and that they just have a lovely time.